Hi, I am Alicia Proctor. I've worked in primary care for around seven and a half years now. Uh, before that, I worked for the London Ambulance Service um, when I undertook my Masters in Advanced Clinical Practice part-time whilst working still for the Ambulance Service and then uh, did, undertook some placement in primary care and then applied for my first job and I've been in the same practice ever since. So I wrote chapter 12 which is contraception and sexual health and then I edited lab investigations chapter, respiratory chapter, cardiovascular chapter and ear, nose and throat chapter. Its aim is targeted at paramedics in primary care but it definitely can be used by students because now it's really important that undergraduate level we're, we're teaching paramedics to be paramedics as a professional, not necessarily ambulance paramedics, because it depends what paramedics want to actually go on to do. So, uh, and lots of undergraduate courses now include modules that are relevant to primary care. So this is an excellent resource for students to use. Um, it can still be used by paramedics on the ambulance as well, because let's be honest, there's such a blurred line between emergency care, urgent care, secondary care. Um, so there's lots of useful information for paramedics on the ambulance as well.